cat, my, my cat, my man's telling me no! Hello Casper, my dad loves, has been watching your videos for the past year now. Every time I get home, I see your face on the screen a little too much, if you ask me. Haha, <laughs> joking. You make him laugh so hard that I see, I see tears rolling over his cheeks, screaming shadow ba- Now the thing I wanted to ask was my dad is turning 67 on J January 31st and I was wondering if maybe you could wish him a happy birthday. I know that would mean the world to him. I hope you read my message. And P.S. I do like your videos too. What's his name? Lana, what's his, what's your dad's name? Cause Lana's dad, who's 67 on the 31st of January. Look at you, huh? Maximum age, please. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you today? We've searched the internet for the freaky deekiest Paranormal ghosty woasty videos in the whole wide world, mate. Left, right, center, willy nilly. Okay? And we've come across a channel called Depths of Despair. Make sure you go to the channel, that channel, Depths of Despair. Subscribe and do the thing. Okay? And this video is called Five Scary Ghost Videos. Five scary ghost videos that frighten all who dare to watch. Okay, well I dare to watch because I ramble everything in life. Alright? Do you dare to watch the whole thing? Tell me if you watch the whole thing by leaving a comment below. Also, could you do me a favour? It's not a favour, it's for you really. What is it for you? It's for me and you. Okay, you and me together. I'm getting some comments saying, I don't get notifications anymore. And where have you been? I've not been anywhere, mate. I've been uploading. So please, please make sure that your bell icon is clicked so you get notifications. Or if it is on, I don't know, unclick it and then click it again to make sure it's on. Okay? Anyway, today's video is sponsored by Vessi. Thank you so much, Vessi. Mate, listen. I have received these, all right? These are on another level. These are a basically a winter boot turned into a sneaker. They're super light and 100% waterproof. Not water resistant, 100% waterproof. And I have proof, video proof to prove it, okay? So these are called Stormburst. Basically, it's a winter boot built into a sneaker. They're 100% waterproof. Like I said, they're not water resistant. They're 100% waterproof. And they've got this technology called Dymatex. It's a super soft knitted material that keeps your feet warm in the cold, but cool in the warmer months. So I thought I'd give this a little bit of a test using uh, tissue paper. So I'm shoving the tissue paper in. I'm going to get some water and dip this shoe in and see how it goes. So you'll see now when I pour over this water, the water just beads off of like even the laces. So this is 100% waterproof. This isn't water resistant. You'll see now when I take this tissue paper out, there isn't one bead of water on that tissue at all. But we're about to step it up, mate. We're about to go to the beach because this is what I wanted these sneakers for. Also, as you can see, they're slip on and slip off shoes as well, which I absolutely love. Look, come on, I look good in these because it's okay having waterproof shoes. But if they look like, I don't know, clown shoes, you ain't gonna be very happy. These also, look at the grip, mate. Look at me running over, like free running. They have a lugged rubber outsole that gives you extra grip in the wet conditions. And also the added lining inside for extra warmth in the cold. And it's about to be cold here on Tarrant Beach in Newquay. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. I want to go on the beach and have a little stroll without worrying what shoes I'm wearing. The amount of times I've gone onto the beach, had a little walk around, and then the missus is like, well, let's go and do some window shopping. Let's go do, you know, do a bit of shopping in town. I'm like, I, I can't because I've got wet socks. <laughs> I need to go and change them. But these, look, they're dry as anything. They are totally dry as anything. It really does give you that freedom to just do what you want to do especially like whether it's raining cold warm if you're going to be muddy climbing whatever you want to do mate you can do it you don't ever think about what shoes should i wear should i wear flip-flops should i wear hiking boots should i wear sneakers whatever so here we go proof is in the pudding my feet by the way the, the, the water is super cold my feet are warm as anything and my socks bone dry these are stylish warm 
100% waterproof, mate. They're banging. Also, extra bonus, if you, your shoes are messy, you just put them underwater and they clean themselves. They don't actually say that, but like, I, I don't know why they, they're missing a beat there because they're super easy to clean. And look at me. Look how beautiful they look on me. Thank you very much. So the link is in the description. Check out Vessi Stormburst and the other styles at Vessi.com Casper site. Get the style and size you want and use the code Casper site for 15% off your entire order. There's free shipping to C-A-U-S-A-U-J-P-T-W-K-R-S-G-P on the online store. Without further ado, Daddy Day, let's do this. Shh. Go on, Dead it's Bear. Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos Caught on Camera yes. The Farmhouse mm. The first video comes from the YouTube channel Jay Barari, who has been featured on the channel a few times in the past. After taking a small break from the farmhouse and returning, things have gotten much worse. And one day, she starts having issues with the connection and while home alone sorting out the TV, she captures this. What? Mate, the ghost is just sort of like scene, 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 Just, just kick it. The button's probably stuck down, mate. Hello? Oh. I thought I heard it back. That's three bangs now, mate. You okay? You okay, buddy? I thought she was talking to the ghost. It's the bloody cat. It's real creepy. What's up with the phone lights right now? What's up with my phone? Like with the camera. I think she's huffed on it. <laughs> Hang on. She hears some loud sudden banging coming from across the room, but as she turns around, there's no sign of what could be causing it. Shortly after, she receives a motion detection alert on her outdoor security camera located by the guest house, and this is what it captured. Oh, wow, no. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's star. Wow. Oh, mate, that quick tapping is a little bit more freaky deaky than just the old cliche bang, bang, bang. This is like the ghost wants to get in, mate. No. Oh, my God. What? Help me. No. Oh, fucking look at the state of this, mate. Look at the chicken. Look at the chicken. Help me. Oh, F you, mate. <laughs> F you, mate. <laughs> F you with your help me. What do you, what do you want? What do you need? Go to the light. What sounds like knocking can be heard coming from within the guest house, along with a tormented whisper crying out for help. But just as Jennifer goes to check inside, she finds nobody there. I'm outside with the chickens. I just got a notification on my phone that there's something going on in the front, but I can't see anything. The chicken. Hello. There's nobody in here, honestly. It's 
going to kick off, mate. Don't stand by the window. You get pushed out, mate. Christ, our loft is as big as a lot of people's houses, mate. On another day, one of oh, it's the not a loft, whatever it is, a barn. The home security camera is set up in the child's bedroom, detects motion when the cat enters the room. But it seems the cat is attracted to something else, something strange, and what the camera captures is undeniably chilling. Let me let me sh let me change my shit. Ah! The cat's gonna be dragged in there, mate. Meow! No. Imagine just seeing a creepy, a creepy hand just grab the cat and. Meow! That teddy bear's like, don't go in there, mate. Don't go bloody in there. The light's gonna go off. Oh, oh! It did get, it did get pulled. It's gonna come out a dog. Oh! I'm freaking out, man. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Mate, did you hear that? <laughs> the doors to the little oh, closet. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Look at you. Here I am. The room seem to open all on their own, just as the cat approaches, as if it were lured there by some unseen force. The lights then turn off and immediately start flickering the moment the cat enters the room. Eventually, the second door slams open by itself, and a creepy voice aggressively whispers, Get out. It's the same voice that just went, help me, help me. Which seems to startle the cat as it flinches and quickly moves out of the room. It's definitely a frightening thought to think that your beloved pet is left alone with something unseen that mm. may have bad intentions. Later on at night, the lights start flickering all around the house. So she decides to grab her night vision camera and step outside to see if she can capture anything in the house. Holy shit, I'm scared. Not very good night vision camera, mate. It's fucking it's black. Heard I got the night vision working. Is it? Oh, okay. Mate. Mate, she's gone to another level of ghost hunting. What? A strange figure staring at me? What oh! Was that? What was that, mate? You can't time that stuff. You can't time that, mate. While looking through the night vision camera, a creepy dark figure can be seen lurking in the house through the window. Oh, maximum shadow bastard, please. Does. And the worst part is that it seems to be watching her closely. On another night, 
she decides to sleep in her daughter's bed, which didn't end very well. Oh. This is, something's going on in here, mate. The giraffe is going back to the zoo! Giraffe is bloody possessed. Break his neck. Okay. It's a doll. It's a it's, it's a toy. Okay. Would you sleep in there though, mate, if you knew that shit was going on? Just roundhouse that thing in the head. Or is it going to move again? Oh my god, that sound just made me throw up inside, mate. Good tune though. Oh. Oh. What's about to happen? Holy fuck it! Once again. Oh my god, mate. L like. I think my hair, I need a bloody haircut with the chicken, mate. I need a bloody haircut, look at the state of it. And the little door opens and then the giraffe moves by itself right into the position to watch over the sleeping woman. Just what exactly is going on here? Some people believe that something bad happened within the guest house in the past. But just what do you think? Let me know. The Mimic TikTok user Ali H decided to start collecting haunted and cursed dolls for some reason. He discovered one as a straight from bloody walking dead in an abandoned building and decided to retrieve it and bought some others online. And oh. ever since getting them, yeah. he sealed them away and kept them stored mm. inside Dybbuk boxes. But to his surprise, he started to notice strange and creepy things occurring around the house, mm. even with the dolls stored away. So we actually have three haunted dolls locked up in our basement right now in Dybbuk boxes. Uh, there's one in there, that's the worst one. And there's two in there. Um, and they're in Dybbuk boxes, covered in holy water, um, anointing oil, uh, covered in rosary beads and sealed with wax. Mate, when you start buying dolls and then start putting them in boxes, dripping oil and shit all over them, was there ever a point of yourself when you were doing that, you thought, have I gone weird? Don't do it. Get a bloody hobby. Like yo-yoing or something. It's spaghetti. And they've been in here for uh, almost two or three weeks now. And since they've been in here, just a ton of shit has been going crazy in the house. On one night, the bloody wonder! while watching TV, he heard the sound of a baby crying coming from his basement, which seems to stop as he approaches the stairs. Oh, 
Oh, mate, imagine that. You're at home. You've not got a baby, okay? But you hear a baby cry in your house. I don't... ...in there. And for some reason, he then thinks it's a good idea to try and communicate with the spirit inside his own house. What, goo ga ga, -ga? Which doesn't go as planned. We keep hearing a baby cry in our basement. Ah! Oh my god! Oh! Did something just fucking moved from there. Did he... <laughs> ah! I mean, I'll be like, ha! Ah! Ah! <laughs> something was just in that corner. No. I didn't see it. They're still there. No. What? Babe, you and my mom stay upstairs. I do. Come on! Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to figure it out. Oh, this thing's bloody horrible, mate. Who is the baby crying down here? Where is the baby? Where here? On the bed with the night suits, mate. The bloody baby grow. Yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> My baby. <sighs> oh, God. Hey, baby, something? What? Births? What the fuck? Oh, please don't be someone behind you, mate. Please. Hey! Can you tell me about the baby here? Oh, mate, what are you doing? You're putting dolls in boxes. <laughs> You're dripping wax and fucking oil all over them. <laughs> and now you're looking into bloody mirrors, summoning the bloody ghosts. What are you doing? Huh? You wonder why shit's going on in your house, mate? Look at you! Screenshot it and take a look. Help her. Was that Mary that made the crying? Okay, no, no, something just touched the back of my neck. No, no, we are getting out of here. After using the spirit box app and going up to the mirror, many people believe that he has allowed something to enter through it. No, oh, fuck it, mate, I'm freaking out here, mate. As a portal, and after a voice counts to two, he feels something touch his neck, and at that point he decides he's had enough and just up and leaves the basement. But it doesn't end there. Ooh. The next night he tries the spirit box once again while home alone in the office. And what he captures is downright chilling. Good. Who? Who's mom? Why did you say mom twice? Who's mom? She's pretty? But who is she? Why did she play the carousel? Dad? Don't. Why did you want me to sleep in the Homer. office tonight? <laughs> who did this? You just said did this. You said someone did this. Who did this? No. 
Is that Neil? You see, oh, did you see? You see? Did that, listen, listen, shush, shush, shush. You see me all night. Can you hear me? Huh? Okay. Oh my, this is good. I wonder if the security camera got that. Stop. Oh my, that was a grudge. That was the grudge. The spirit box gives some creepy responses, and eventually, an object forms over by itself, causing Ali to scream like Homer Simpson. But if that's not bad enough, <laughs> he then pulls out a Ouija board. Okay, that's just the icing on the cake, that, isn't it, really? Right? No wonder shit's going down, mate. Don't do Ouija boards! To use inside his own house. And on that same night, while he was sleeping in the house alone, and his wife was away at some relative's house, he captured a true nightmare. Oh, is that... That's not your missus, mate. That's not your missus. Run! It's not your missus, mate! It's not your missus! Fucking hell, it's not your missus! She's not down there, mate. She's at fucking work. <sighs> fucking hell, mate. If that ever happened to me, mate, if I heard my missus calling me and it's not her, I'd be like, hey, who are you? Oh, fucking hell, mate. Oh, God, no, I don't, I can't, my mind can't, my mind's telling me no! But my body, my body is telling me yes! Oh, mate, this is freaking me out. Come downstairs. What are you wearing? Imagine if that Ouija started moving on its own then. What the fuck? Alexa, turn on all lights. I couldn't find any enabled video skills. Really? While his wife was away for a few nights, something can be heard imitating her voice, attempting to lure Ali downstairs, and at that exact time one of the inside security cameras captures a door, opening and closing on its own. He then tries to use Alexa to turn all the lights on at once, to save him the trouble of leaving the room in the dark. But it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I don't think that's it power at all, mate. That's just bloody Alexa all over, isn't it? So he just decides to spend the night locked in this room. Now this is definitely a chilling experience and a lot of people... Let me try and turn on your Alexa. Alexa, play the best 80s. Let's try it again. Alexa, play the best 80s. Alexa, turn volume to maximum. Let me know in the comments if it worked. When the comments have claimed to witness something similar in their lifetime. However, we don't actually know if this wife of his is away or not. So in the end, is this a real ghost or demon or not? You judge. If Alexa, remind me when Caspersite plays every time. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to Depths of Despair Business. I think he's actually has he has he edited that to make it sound a bit better? 
Wait, listen. If you have any video recommendations. He's redone it, I think. I think he's redone it. Because it used to go. <laughs> you can send them over to depths of despair business at gmail.com. Birdhouse. About the bird, about the bird, about the word, about the bird, 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 Birds, but little did he know that he had captured something utterly terrifying. Watch closely. So the first one of my parents' little birds is this little guy. It is little Leo. He's a cockatiel. The second little bird uh, of my parents is a rainbow lorikeet. His name is Oliver. And there he is. Here I am. My good little mate, Puffin. We can see there is nothing at the door at first, but after posting this video to his story, he received a message from his friend saying, What was that behind you? What? Upon watching his own story, his stomach sank as he caught a glimpse of what looked like a creepy face. Through oh, uh, right, okay. What is that, mate? The door. That's what it looks like. Are we are we talking about this thing? With its hands trying to cover it. What the fuck are we looking at here, mate? He says the door leads to his back door, which is locked by a single gate. Not seeing it. So this left him freaked out. Later on, he started to get paranoid after hearing noises while home alone at night. So he was looking through all the windows, and once again, he unknowingly captured something terrifying. So this is the door. That's the, that's the screen. Mate, you you just asked to be haunted with curtains like that. You just asked for it. You went into the shop. She's like, I want to be haunted. Can I have the freaky deakiest curtains in the world, please? Yes, these ones here. Okay, thank you. Purchased. Oh, mate, what's with the wind indoors, mate? <sighs> oh, mate, this is maximum ambiance. Oh, mate, we're going to see something here, man. What? What's going on? Oh, 
replay? What? What? Oh my God! Here I am. While walking through the house at night, it becomes very clear that he is being watched oh, by. Ma oh, hey, hey, <laughs> hey! By some kind of dark figure, just standing in the corner. Unfortunately, there isn't much information afterwards. So it isn't clear what happened next. I, I really, I'm, I don't know what we're looking at here, next. mate. I'm looking at bloody SpongeBob SquarePants here. Like, but there's nothing here. But hopefully they moved out and nothing followed. The Haunted, the hospital. haunted hospital. Yes, let's go. The following video was captured by a security camera installed at the Felix Bones Hospital in Santiago, Chile. In the footage, a what if it's cold in there? Quite chilly. <laughs> person can be seen laying in bed trying to rest when suddenly something disturbing happens. What the? F what the hell? The man seems to be resting peacefully when all of a sudden he starts flashing around. Jesus, mate, he's just got dragged out of the bloody bed. Controllably, if we take a closer look, it looks as though something unseen has a hold of his leg and is trying to pull him. Eventually, a nurse comes to his aid after noticing the poor man's struggle. Mate, he blatantly, blatantly got bloody pulled then. That's what she said. Okay? You can't move your body like oh, well, I can. I can move my body anywhere, man. I'm, I'm fucking rambo it. But what, what I'm saying, most people, man, like, they, 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 that's, that's not supposed to happen. Struggling. This hospital is known for many rumors of it being haunted. Clearly. And TikTok user Makazelda. This poor bloke. Also decided to check this place out and managed to capture some creepy phenomenon. Phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. <laughs> What? As he explores the hospital, he hears the sound of unexplained voices, which sound very creepy and sinister. Shortly after, he pans the camera to the side, and something white flies out the window, and it just slams shut. But this isn't the only thing captured in this place. Another video with an unknown source seems to show a bizarre phenomenon occurring with a balloon inside the hospital. Oh, mate. mate, straight from Sixth Sense. Cuando vine para acá, se me empezó a pegar, boludo, me pegué un cagazo y ahora lo veo. Entonces la estática, boludo, está lejos. Está lindo para acá. Ay, la concha de la lora. Look at it! Oh mate, imagine if it pops. No. What? Burst it! Ahí está. No. Oh, Ay, la no. Ay, la no. <laughs> Mysteriously, a balloon seems to be it just followed them. following the people through the. That's what I said. Stop copying me. Building, perfectly navigating the halls as if it were controlled by a greater force. So, is this hospital place really haunted, or not? Let me know your thoughts wow. down below. I think it's. I think that was like you know when helium gets to a perfect amount where it starts to sort of fade away 
and it just like hovers at one point and probably the air is so still there and it's just going towards sort of like the warm spots or the cold spots wherever it's drawn to no access, no access. TikTok user Sabrina, along with her family, decided to go and visit the famous Aston Hall mansion over in Birmingham, England. The mansion was built somewhere between 1618 and 1635 by Sir Thomas Holt as a home for him and his family. Many people have claimed to see multiple sightings of a female spirit who is thought to be Sir Thomas Holt's daughter, Mary. Holt did one of the most cruel things a father could possibly no, 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 ever do. And that was to imprison his daughter for over 16 years in a small cell located at the top of the building just because he didn't approve of her partner. To oh my god. 16 years? Which she then passed away from the poor treatment she had received. And now, supposedly, her soul. What a bloody weirdo, hey? What a effing weirdo, mate. Remains confined within the room, unable to pass on to the next life, and haunting the place. Currently, the mansion has become a popular attraction as a museum, and as Sabrina visits the place, she decides to go up and take a look at where Mary met her demise. And that's when her husband got the bright idea to try and call out to Mary. And oh, she definitely heard him. Is this, I, I think this might be this one that I've seen already. You couldn't stealth anything in that place, could you, eh? Just go in the toilet, love. Love, you stay asleep. I'll be back in a minute. Maximum stairs, please! Was it Mary? Was it Mary? 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 You up there, Mary? Mary! No harm. You can come down now, it's, it's past 16 years, come I on. I know you're in there. Come see it's a boyfriend. We've seen you. Ah. Uh -huh. Where are you, Mary? I've seen this one. Mate, I've seen it and I, I wish, I wish he just ramboed it in there to see. My goodness gracious me, mate. If you did, wow. I, the, the clip's already gone viral, mate, but it would have gone even more viral. It would have gone for viral. Oh, my God. Mary. Did you see it? See, they just, it just seems so legit. Mary. Because you don't even hear it walking around. Mary. Oh my god. There, I haven't seen this bit. You can come out now. Oh my, my god. Hello. Oh my god! After witnessing this chilling event, many viewers were skeptical. Simply. Why did they only just. Why? Okay, unless I've forgotten. Why did the other videos only show the first passing? Because she didn't go up to investigate. Oh, really? Okay. She then explained that it is off limits, as the staircase is too unstable for people to walk on, and that she is not a ghost hunter. So she was terrified at the mere sight of what she saw. So many people are asking this question. Me and my husband are not investigators nor are we um ghost hunters yeah we was there as tourists my husband thought it was clever to call out mary after learning her history of walking around the castle i was petrified she uh, did seem pretty damn petrified um, and didn't find it very funny and as you can hear in the video i kept saying how scared i was when we saw the shadow 
um, as I dropped my phone, as you can see, my phone goes down, something came towards us. At this point, I had started crying as a big grown woman. Although being off limits didn't stop everybody. Found it. There's the attic room. I don't think we're allowed to do this, but... Oh! Let's go for it. Oh, you naughty boy. Hey? Naughty, naughty boy. You'll go up there now and see cardboard cutouts, like, you know, from home alone. <laughs> Just get past it like that. <laughs> Crack! <laughs> Wow, it is freezing cold in this room. Could this be? So it just shows them that there is no, there's a light source in there. So why is there a light source in there? I suppose just to illuminate where you can see the, 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 the crack through it. But the only thing I'm saying about like with the light, is it something that after a while, like, you know, something passes the light? And it just shines that shadow, like a, a theatrical thing that they do there. But that, oh, mate, but you didn't see anything there. But then it would only have to be, if the light source is there, it would only have to be a small, like, you know, a finger that passes by to, to, to illuminate, like, a, a big shadow. I don't know. I mean, that's what you could do. But that just, I don't know, mate. It didn't seem like that. It didn't seem like that at all. It seemed quite legit. The vengeful spirit of Mary Holt, who is forever bound to this and tiny room. there's nothing room. up there, is there? There's no, you can't see. Bottom left-hand corner, you can't see any sort of, you know, cardboard cutout. That looks, that's, mate, that's weird. Looking for a way out. I'll leave the final judgment to you. Mm. That's all for today. Absolutely amazing, that one, mate. I loved it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please, please subscribe. And do the little bell thing. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at kaspersite.com. Just Rambo it.